This is actually coming out pretty cool. It's uh it's been a long time since I've played Minecraft. It's I I don't even I don't even know what they've added. I don't know what they've done. But man, this is this seems like a lot of work that I've done recently. <laughs> Not recently, but when I was doing it. I don't even know where I was going with it, but be cool to like to see where it ends up being. Probably be some crazy massive looking cathedral looking thing. Sometimes I wonder like I wonder what it would be like how I think like the feeling that this game gives you is the feeling that everyone is looking for outside of outside of their own lives there is like I've, I've recently realized this but when you're a re when you're actually a free person when you actually become a free individual and you have you experience true freedom everything else doesn't matter anymore everything else just becomes like a um everything else just becomes a a little cog in the world and you don't really care everyone else all their opinions they don't they don't matter anymore and you don't really you don't really worry about what someone has to say you don't worry about what you're supposed to say next you just enjoy yourself and I've realized that because I am I've realized that I've lived a certain life up until this point. I've I've lived as the the person that you guys don't know yet, which is the real me. But I've lived that I've lived that person and I've lived that way for for up until this point, but I haven't um there's so many ways out there to live. I could live different lives if I wanted to. I could live the life of a of somebody who doesn't care about anything and does what he wants. I can live a I can live the life of somebody who does what everyone else tells him to do. And you should live those lives. You should live life like that. You should experience all aspects of life, not just the ones that you that everyone else tells you are good or bad. That's that's how you live a full life is you live multiple lives. So but also you shouldn't run away from the one that you've created now. You should fulfill the one that you've created now and then move on. I done goofed. Look at this. It's off. Doesn't seem off though. Oh, I can fix it. It is off. What did I do wrong? Let's see, there's three, two in between. Oh, okay, so this one is just. Okay, I see. I see. I'm not off. It just looks that way. Wait, maybe I am off. No, let's see, there's three. And then there's one there. Okay, well, whatever. But <clears throat> I've realized that a person who's truly free is going to live, is going to live in the society that they grew up in with all the rules that they were, that were pushed into their, their minds and into their, into into everything that they're supposed to be but 
they don't live based on that life they live based on rules that they create in their own heads they they make their own rules and that is the point where i'm getting is i'm starting to make my own rules and i'm starting to not care about i'm starting to more and more push away the ideas that were put into my mind and into my head and one day it's not even one day i've already done it it's just you guys haven't you guys haven't um i haven't talked about it yet so you guys don't know how far i've gone in my own journey in life and i don't want to talk too much about my own journey because it could ruin a lot of your journeys cuz i don't know how far you guys are in your lives and how and how much you're doing and that's up for you to live like i don't want to give you guys too much because i want you guys to to come to these realizations on your own and i'm not saying that my realizations are better or more or more fulfilled or anything like that they're always going to be the same everybody's the same person i'm you guys and you guys are me And I've grown to realize this, and because I've realized it, it seems like things are starting to make a lot more sense. There's a lot more coincidences happening around me that push this idea that I am everybody and everybody is me. But not in a way where it's like a fortune cookie sort of way. In a way where it's like a realistic sort of way. Meaning that like, meaning that I am the universe and the universe is me. I'm just a speck in a sea of dust, but I am part of the entire dust storm that's happening. Sometimes the dust storm can can blow its blow my way and and blow the way that I need to go and sometimes it doesn't but it's always going. If you can just accept where you're at in that dust storm and then move make your decisions from there and you start to seize everything that you didn't think you could and things start happening not in the way that you wanted them to happen but they just happen they happen in the most random sort of way that's life I remember when I was a kid I used to I used to run around like like I was a ninja and I was trying to hide from everybody. I was trying to hide from from people and their opinions of me. Because I was ashamed of my family, my um my nationality. I was ashamed of so many things in my life. <laughs> and it's funny now because I still kind of am. But I see it. That's the difference is I see that I was like that. And because I see it, I can start to make changes. I can start to I can start to realize like all those things and all all you need to do is see your problems. You don't need to try and change them. They'll change on their own. Once you see your problems, you'll see, you'll you, you won't be able to sit there and and watch your problems grow. You're going to want to change them. And you'll do it whether whether you want to or not. And you can't force things to happen. 
you can't force the spring to happen in winter time you can't force things to to come your way you just have to wait and be patient and they will come your way they won't come your way in the way that you want them to not exactly that way but they will come your way but you have to be open-minded you have to be very open-minded life doesn't like to give you what you expect it gives you what you want but not what you expect not how you expect it at least it'll give you everything you want it's just it won't give it it won't give it to you in the way that seems the most um the most predictable because your mind in your mind you're you're coming from a very small place your mind is is very limited the intellect side of your mind is so limited compared to the mind of the universe the mind of the universe is way beyond intellect it's way more intelligent than anything out there the mind of the universe controls everything that's why they say like there's the phrasing of God works in mysterious ways he doesn't work in mysterious ways he works in random ways and it's not a he it's just the universe itself I used to think like that that one day I'm gonna become enlightened I used to say like my goal in life is to become enlightened and die happily <laughs> there's no becoming enlightened because you regardless of what of regardless of what you think regardless of what your intelligence tells you you already are enlightened you just don't accept it because you're so stuck in the intelligence part and the nature of intelligence is to be confused the nature of of intelligence is totally to be confused that's that's what it loves that's that's its to be confused is where intelligence feels most comfortable it's so like people always tell me like why don't you tell me how how i can become enlightened why don't you tell me and i just tell them like you can't <laughs> You can't become enlightened. There's no becoming enlightened. You already are enlightened. You just don't realize it. Because you're stuck in you're you're putting yourself in a box by trying to make it something that you can think of intellig with intelligence. Intelligence is the evolution of I mean enlightenment is enlightenment is the evolution of intelligence but like it's not just intelligence and it's not just the evolution of intelligence it's the evolution of a lot of things intuition intelligence instinct all these things work all in as one giant balanced way of being and then once you become a being and you are just being there as as entirely and and aware and you have your instincts your your instincts are are well aware of your situation and your intellect is is not struggling trying to keep up then you start to see all of the randomness of life and you start to accept it without judging it without telling 
without telling you know life without putting life into a box and saying like this is happening this moment is beautiful or whatever without saying like oh this I woke up in the morning and the sunlight was so beautiful when you wake up and you just watch the sunset oh what's that oh it's a bat if you just wake up you already know it's beautiful you don't have to say it in your head that's the thing that's the difference that's the difference between an animal and you the animal is so much more calm and the animal sees so much more of the sunlight than you do than the than the morning than you do because it doesn't sit there saying this is a beautiful sunlight it's just there it knows it's beautiful but it doesn't need to ever categorize it in a in a beautiful symbol it doesn't need to say that it doesn't need to make noise in its head saying that something is beautiful it just knows that it is and because humans are so used to doing that in their heads they can't ever enjoy things for what they are they just sit there and they they just chat away in their minds all day just chatting away chatting away missing out on the moment missing out on everything in its entirety because they're trying to put everything in a box saying like this is this this is that and they don't let their they don't let themselves just enjoy the moment that was me for the longest time and it's still me i still sit there and say like oh this is a beautiful whatever or i sit there and i think about things too much and then I get lost and I start doubting myself and all these different emotions come and it's a vicious cycle of just me and my mind battling each other almost to the death and sometimes you know like I want to escape from all that but escaping from your mind is not is is worse than than battling with it you just need to realize that your mind's gonna always gonna always want to be confused that's the nature of your mind just always wants to be confused it's always gonna stay that way you can't change it you just have to let it you just have to let it be confused your instinct which is the animal side of you and yes you are an animal it knows it, it already knows things are beautiful it already knows all it knows everything it knows the situation you're in it keeps you alive it knows when you should breathe it knows way beyond your capabilities beyond your intellect if your brain I mean not your brain but I mean like if your intellect had to keep your body alive it wouldn't be able to do it there's too much happening there's way too much happening for your brain to keep up with well not your brain because your brain does control all those things it's just like if you were to try and consciously tell yourself to breathe and clean out the cells of your body and do all these things like you wouldn't be able to do it it's just too much too much to manage so your body already has built-in things that keep it alive and that's out of your control that's out of your you don't have to think about that stuff and because you take that for granted and you take that superhuman ability for granted you get lost in your cell phone you're like you're texting somebody like oh man 
This airport doesn't have Wi-Fi. <laughs> you know? This is the worst park ever. They don't have public restrooms. All they have is a bunch of beautiful fountains. <laughs> I heard somebody say that the other day, like, all they have is fountains in this park. They don't have any public restrooms. <laughs> and those fountains were awesome. And I said, like, that is the intellect at its finest. That is the perfect example of the intellect just the person's totally withdrawn from this beautiful spot they're in and instead they're worried about <laughs> the worry they're worried about public restrooms and it, it, i don't know it was, it was funny I, I laughed that's another thing i've been doing a lot is going to going out into nature and shooting guns and and uh just I saw a raven for the first time the other day and I was just like it was you see crows I see crows all the time but when you see a raven it's just majestic it looks so amazing it looks so mean and you can tell that raven has <laughs> has seen some crazy days and it's it's it was it was awesome now you now I understand Edgar Allan Edgar Allan Poe a little more and and his description of the of the raven and it's just it is awesome. I appreciate I appreciate that. It was pretty pretty cool. Sometimes I wonder Sometimes I wonder if I'm just speaking to myself. It's probably the case for sure. Especially now since like especially now. I know that I'm just speaking to myself. I know that um I know that a lot of this flies over people's minds or they interpret it they interpret it in their own way, in their own creative way, and that's fine. You have your own lives and you have your own um, things to worry about. So as long as you listen every once in a while, I think it's cool. I think like I'm going to be doing more Minecraft videos eventually, like more and more. I hope at least I, I want to because I do miss making videos. But for now... I'll just make them whenever I feel like making one. I can always talk about things. I have so many things to talk to you guys about and not enough time to do all of it. I don't think I'll ever have enough time to tell everyone about all my thoughts. It's just too many. Like, way too many. <laughs> <laughs> 